Morning guys, I have no idea what time it is. I think it's maybe eight or nine. I've just been laying in bed playing Angry Birds 2 and replying to some emails and bits and bobs. Douglas and I finally have a date to move. I handed in my notice for this place a week or so ago and we have to officially be gone by the 19th of August. I'm gonna be sad to leave this place because I love this place and now people are coming in and viewing it. I know that I'm not gonna be here this time next month. I love it even more. I'm not as keen on the place we're gonna be moving into, so it kinda makes it worse. Of course I will vlog it. One, because I would vlog stuff like that, so I, I like to document things and I know you guys will wanna see it, but I am doing Vloggist, if you didn't guess by the title somewhere. So I am doing Vloggist, but instead of doing every day, I'm gonna do every other day. I hope that's okay, um, just because I really, really wanted to do these, especially after doing my Spain vlogs. I'm just on top of everything, I'm feeling good. This month is gonna be pretty crazy. I almost feel like vlogging every other day is gonna just keep me, just keep me going. It sounds really weird, but it's gonna just help me a little bit. Because one weekend I have summer in the city. I'm, I'm most likely gonna be going on Saturday, but I will let you know. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be on one of the panels, but I'll confirm everything closer to the time. And then the weekend after, I've got V Festival. Then we are moving as well, which, um, so basically we've got a festival, summer in the city, and moving in a space of two weeks. And there's also another major big thing that's happening <coughs> but i don't want to say anything yet until um until closer to the time when it gets to it you'll know what i mean but for now i'm just gonna keep you hanging it's not anything major like it's not any like big news or anything like that but it's just um i need to keep the privacy of other people so um until it gets closer to the time can't really say anything. I am just about to unwrap my Abel and Cole parcel. I order from them probably once or twice a month. I didn't get that much today. I just needed to get some sort of bits we, um, Douglas and I were running out of. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. So I have some more multi-surface, non-toxic surface cleaner in French lavender. I had the one in grapefruit, it was so good. I really like method cleaners. And then I got some non-bio laundry gel, couple of tins of Mr. Organic chopped tomatoes. This is not gonna work one-handed. I also ordered this pie because I love fish pie. And um, I thought I could just have this in the freezer and then on a night where I'm really craving fish pie and I'm feeling lazy, I can just whip this out. This is the Yeo Valley Greek style yogurt. I love this. I was just packing the boxes away and I found this. It's a little moustache chocolate. That's so cute. Suppose I should get some breakfast. So I had this yesterday uh, for the first time and it was actually quite good. This is the Eat Natural Toasted Muesli. Right, now don't judge me. I may be in bed, yes. Do you like my new duvet cover? Oh, I love it, got it from Habitat. But yes, anyway, I was saying don't judge me. I'm in bed, about to have my breakfast. This has been kind of my routine for the last week or so. I've been getting up, having breakfast, usually a lot earlier. I usually have it at about six in the morning and then by seven o'clock I'm working. So I've had a little more, well, I haven't really had a lay in, I've just been chilling in bed a bit longer. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and then as soon as I have my breakfast, I'm gonna get editing and then I can get myself out of bed, get ready. I need to film my July favorites. So I'm not being lazy. I'm just very comfortable in bed right now and I find that in the morning, I'm really productive when I'm in bed. Oh yeah, I got a new phone. <laughs> I don't know what that creepy look was for. For some reason, I was allowed my upgrade a few months before I was actually due my upgrade. Quite nice because CJ, I don't know if any of you guys remember him, CJ, mine and Doug's friend. He works in car phone warehouse now, so I popped in there yesterday. He did my upgrade for me. I'm in car phone warehouse getting my upgrade. CJ's doing it for me. Hello. Long time no see on this channel. I've gone for the iPhone 6. Yeah, 16 gig. In silver. In silver. Yeah. Sure. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, CJ. You You're all blurry. Oh. <laughs> so now I have the iPhone 6. I know I could have got the iPhone 7 when it comes out in a few months or so. It will cost a lot more money. And I thought 
I just want an upgrade from my phone that was crashing and restarting all the time and being really slow. So I'm happy, I'm very happy with my new iPhone 6. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna have my breakfast whilst I watch some YouTube. I'm about to watch Asina. That's it. Sina O'Neill, her new What I Ate Today video, I really like her. Just finishing off editing, luckily this video isn't too long, shouldn't take too long to upload so I can get it up at a nice time. I do need to save up for a new laptop because I have cleared up so much memory, I've done everything that I can possibly do to make it work faster and it's just not happened any of it. It's done me so good, I've had it for three and a half years, every single day it's working all day long it's just getting so slow it's almost getting impossible to edit yeah let me just show you this little clip that i've been trying to edit for ages and it just keeps freezing and i can't physically like see what i'm doing i can just hear myself it will start to play smoothly for a bit and now it does this and then we can go back to her that is so annoying it's really hard to edit presentable than I was earlier. I am just about to set up filming. Basically, if it looks like there's a chunk out of my eyebrow, there is, was just trimming my eyebrows and I just wasn't really concentrating and I kind of did it a bit wrong. And so now I have a clump out of my eyebrows. Brilliant. I tried to fill them in, but it's like a really blunt cut between like n no eyebrow there. Yeah, brilliant. Pretty much done. I'm just gonna do one little extra bit of filming of my neutral bullet. I'm gonna have a smoothie anyway, and I'm just gonna record myself blending it up for one part of the video, and that's it. If you're interested to know what's in here, still need to put the rest of the almond milk and some coconut water in. Stopped pouring it in just because I thought I should probably show you what I've got. So I've got some frozen bananas somewhere hiding in the almond milk, some mango, some passion fruit, acai berry powder, baobab powder, maca powder, um, I think, I think that's it. <laughs> Been on my laptop since about eight on, well, about nine o'clock this morning, and it's, oh, I haven't got my watch on. Um, it's about five o'clock now, and I've done nothing but <laughs> sit on my laptop, which I do every day. But I just can't deal with just staying in the flat all day. I just need to get out. So I'm gonna pop to the shop and get some food for dinner tonight. Might make some vegetarian burritos. I've never made burritos at home, but I love them. So I'm gonna try and make some veggie ones. I'm gonna nip into town and get a couple of other bits as well. It just gets me out of the house. Just gets me moving and it gets me a bit of fresh air because I'm just gonna drive myself crazy spending all day every day at home. YouTuber problems. Pop these up and Barrett and you probably can't hear me on like and got some more of these quinoa chips in sour cream and chives. So good. I got a couple of bags. I got two organic mangoes. Oh, where's the other one? I don't know where the other one is, um, but yeah, I've got two mangoes. Um, I've got a lime, corn mint. I got some chilies, carrots, got some lemons, got an onion, that's the extra mango, got some avocado, mature cheddar, easy cook, long grain and wild rice. I just thought it would be better in a burrito compared to quite firm whole grain rice. White onion, more organic semi-skimmed milk wraps from Mission. Time to make dinner. Dog's not gonna be home tonight because he's having to work late and it just makes sense that he stays there overnight. But then he did say tomorrow night and Sunday we'll have a really nice weekend. We'll go on a little adventure. All I'm gonna do is make chili. So follow a chili recipe and then just add rice and a couple of other extra bits. Some red onion, some sweet corn that I've got left over, pepper, some salt, cumin, Paprika, got chopped tomatoes, kidney beans, chilli powder, tomato puree and corn mince. Got my rice which I'm going to pop on now. Oh and I've also chopped up some carrots to pop in it as well. For the guacamole I've got an avocado obviously, a lime, lemon, chilli, I don't know how much I'm going to pop in um, and an onion and I may put some tomatoes in. I may have made enough to feed a small army. Usually with stuff like this I like to make a batch of it so I've got leftovers for um, lunch and dinner the next day and the day after that. Some still left in the saucepan of just the chilli mixture that I can have with a potato or corgetti or just pasta. But I have this huge bowl 
and there's just so much. The guacamole turned out really well and I've got some cheese here and I've got my wraps and I've got some mayo because I don't have any sour cream and I am looking forward to this. I think this is gonna be really good. Usually I overwrap these so hopefully, hopefully I haven't overwrapped them because the point of the burrito is to actually be able to close and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed. Oh, this may actually close. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Oh. I don't think this is how you, you're meant to actually wrap them, but oh, this is so, no. <laughs> how do they wrap them so neatly? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's all going in the same way. You know what? I'm just gonna wrap it like I'd wrap a wrap. There we go. Oh, this doesn't look appetizing at all, but I bet it's really tasty. I'm hoping so. Mm. Mmm, so good. So whilst I'm filming the last two little bits for my July favourites, I just wanted to film these on and I can't seem to get a decent place to film. So I just sat on my bed and sort of posed a little bit with them on. I almost have today's vlog edited and I pretty much have my July favourites done, which I'm excited about. So I'm going to do a bit of washing up and then get into bed. I know I should probably just get into bed and go to sleep but I just want to get these videos finished and exported and then I'll let them upload overnight so that tomorrow they're ready to go live and I don't have to worry about anything I can have a chilled day tomorrow I will do some filming tomorrow well that is the plan but yeah it'll be semi chilled day I don't have to worry about the vlogs or worry about them taking so long to upload probably say goodbye because I've nattered on so long in this vlog and it's just a whole vlog of me just talking. I hope you enjoyed day one of vlog Vlogmas. Damn it, it's not Vlogmas. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I hope you're looking forward to the rest of Vloggers and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye!